Okay, recording now. We're going hunting. Going out to hunt, boys. Hunting for some Easter eggs. Going on a gonna go on big old hunt there, dang old dang. It's coming right for us! <laughs> a horse, a, I mean a bar for horses. Getting into some weird territory there. Welcome to another Canadian Computer Collector video. We are hanging out with my brother Stace again today, and we have something extra cool cooked up for you. We're gonna go looking for Easter eggs in OS X. Or do they call it OS 10, which is correct. Uh, more often you will encounter people who just say the name of which OS X they're using. Like Mojave or Montieri. <laughs> yeah, those were those were two very popular ones. Catalina. Yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna I mean what generations of OS X are we going through here? Uh, I just assume that the if the Easter egg's in one, it's probably in the others. Okay, well that could be dangerous thinking. It could be, but I guess we'll find out, won't we? I guess we'll find out. Listen. Ladies and gentlemen, that's the best part about learning. Don't forget to do anything ever. It's the most important thing. We are that's being very serious. the most important thing that you can do. And also like and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's bust out. I think, let's start with the 2009 iMac that uh, I think I bought from you. Oh. Man, that's got some thumb grime on it. Yes, this one has been turned on by many dirty hands. It was gross. Searching for Easter eggs, laddie. So speaking of Easter eggs, Stace wore his Togepi shirt today. Hey, metronome. Yeah, that's the, that's the metronome down. Metronome. 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 In OS X, you can choose between two minimization effects, Genie and Scale. But there is a third effect called Suck, which you can also use even though it is not available in the system preferences. To use it, open a terminal window, type the following, defaults, write, com, dot, apple, dot, doc, space, min effect, minus string, suck. Okay, let's see. And uh, you, for the change to take effect, you need to restart the dock. You can either do this by restarting your computer or by opening the activity monitor app and find the dock and force it to quit. Is that different? Yeah, I think so. Click the finder icon, click network. If no items appear in the location section of the sidebar. Where's the network? I don't see network. Yeah, it's... Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. Ah, it does show the blue screen of death. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. There we go. So this... Ladies and gents. Yeah. Dead PCs. You've seen it here first. I seen it. I seen it. Okay, what do we got next? Next up, we have Weather Nowhere. Bring up the weather widget. Open the dashboard either by clicking its icon in the dock. Click the plus sign. Okay. Weather. Locate the weather by clicking and drag it to the dashboard, drop it in a convenient place. You probably knew all that, but hold down the command and option uh, buttons together whilst clicking on the weather symbol at the top of the widget itself. Uh, oh. Ah. And so you change it to oh, nowhere. Oh, look. See, yeah, it cycles. Neat. Oh, so this is so you can choose it, like, let's say if you're trying to, like, make a screenshot of something. Yeah, or if you want to plan the weather out. Oh, you have a deal with Satan. All right. Let's see if we can do it to this one too. Snake game in terminal. Okay, type in Emacs. Yeah. yeah. Hold down escape and press X. Mm -hmm. If the cursor's on the bottom of the terminal, type snake. Oh, that's how we did the other one too. All right, so we got the MX. Type psychoanalyze dash pinhead. Anal eyes dash pinhead. There's a space. Nope. Nope. No, you, you didn't spell pinhead right. Pinhead. The pinhead. Wow, wow, there it is. Legally imposed culture reduction is cabbage brain. Are you sure that legally imposed culture reduction is cabbage brain? Is it because of any hobbies you have that you say legally imposed culture reduction is cabbage brain? What? Can we make it go again? Yeah. I mean, can you scroll up? <laughs> can you go up even further though? Like, oh yeah. 
Yeah, I don't understand this reference at all. Okay, Google psychoanalyze pinhead. Actually, let's do it here. Oh, it's a random zippy quote. MX Doctor is the old Eliza AI program. Oh, so you know what it is. I think it's one like AI program psychoanalyzing the other. Tetris in the terminal. Uh, oh, that's cool. Okay, so Emacs. And then Escape MX. Okay, and Tetris. Tetris. Oh, God. That's great. So basic. Is that actually even like enough rows? It'd be funny if it just gave you the same piece every time. It might. You know what, Dan? If you're ever bored, you can always play Tetris. You can always say, wow. 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 Like Owen Wilson. Wow. Wow. I saw somebody doing Owen Wilson playing Snape. Or, so, you know, Owen, Owen Wilson playing Voldemort. Like, wow. Harry Potter. Wow. <laughs> the boy who lived. <laughs> The boy who lives. Wow. Wow. Harry. Wow. A Vanda Cadaver. <laughs> I also refuse to give up, so just buckle up. Still haven't gotten one of the, like the four, like the just a long stick one, you know. Can you make this game like full screen? No. <laughs> Amazing. These blocks are not standard Tetris pieces. <laughs> Text-based game looks kind of neat. Uh, you're gonna need to enter the E. You're at a dead end of a dirt road. The road goes to the east. In the distance, you can see that it will eventually fork off. The trees here are very tall royal palms, and they are spaced equidistant from each other. There is a shovel here. We'll go pick up shovel. Okay, try to walk forward. Okay, wait. Go walk east. What the f What did you put? East. Okay, on the continuation of a dirt road, there are more trees on both sides of you. The road continues to the east and the west. There's a large boulder here. You heard a fork of two passages, one goes to the northeast and one to the southeast. The ground here seems very soft. You can also go back west. There is some food here. Yeah, I don't know what to do. Oh, it tells you so by tearing your head off. Well, that was fun. Oh, sorry. Is this is, you know, this is not the worst adventure. Moving on. Okay, so this is open terminal Emacs. Type life. Emacs, escape X. And life. And this is all it is? What is this? Click the more info. Okay. Oh, they make, oh, it's cells evolving and eventually becoming DNA. Oh. Oh, wow, it's life, man. Man, wait till the aliens find this and then they learn how our lives are made. So sue me. Uh, okay, so sound and sound effects. Sound is in the right place. Oh, second row. So sue me. It's a, it's a reference to Apple Computers' legal disputes uh, with Apple Corps Limited, the Beatles record label. So sue me. Let's oh, so really? sue me. All right. Anyway. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed that. You know what though? If you enjoyed this, maybe we'll do some older machines, maybe some gray stuff, some beige, if you will. <laughs> <laughs> Apple.
Apple has a rich history of hiding stuff inside their machines, all the way back to the Compact Max, where inside of the case, you can see the embossed uh, signatures of all the people that helped design it. So thank you so much for checking out this video. Uh, make sure you check the description for links to Patreon, buy me a coffee, and social media. Why don't we wax poetic about our Patreon subscribers? That's right. For a moment. Oh, just a band of absolute heroes. We're talking God level heroes. Yeah, these are the epics that the tales of old were written about. These are people who can shoot lightning bolts out of their fingertips. I once saw a photograph of all of them together, mounted on unicorns, all of them wearing traditional regalia. I bet you a couple of them play Magic the Gathering. These are the guys, they go to a Vegas casino, someone farts next to them, that guy's out. So we got uh, Garth Beagle, uh, Trina Conrad, Dave's Vintage Apple Tech, Mac 84, we've got Ron Resnick, and Ethan Palomero, I think that's everyone. It's like a small class size, you know? Like it, right. you get a lot more of Each it. Each kid gets the individual one-on-one -on -one attention they need. Dollar a month. Just one dollar. That's right. Buck a day. Do you really want a clone? We also have to thank Garth for uh, another donation that he made through Buy Me a Coffee. Oh. 25, so a total of five coffees. Very generous. Thanks that'll so cover much, That'll cover replacing the broken uh, phone mount. That's right, I broke the phone mount today. Yeah, and we're gonna do more outro than we're gonna do for the whole video, oh, so. God. Yeah, so this will have to be tightened up then. Sure, yep. by the end of it. Outros um, like should be <laughs> Well, you, know, I, you, you get the reference, right? Friends like I think it's a Parks and Rec one. Okay. I am the Canadian Computer Collector. Yeah. This is the Brotherly Computer Collector. And thank you so much for checking out this video. Uh, we're going to leave it there uh, on the note of I might actually just bleep out all of the use of and so that we leave it in and people are like, what do they say? Even that's a Parks and Rec reference. <laughs> yeah, just